The best thing about Korean pancakes is you can change up the ingredients that you add into it. This one is going to be a bacon and egg kimchi pancake. It is to die for. So before we get our bacon on, let's make the batter. In one jug, I have two thirds of a cup of water. I'll add one egg, so wet ingredients in one jug along with a splash of soy sauce. And just with a whisk, we're gonna break up that egg and give it a quick mix to combine it all. Fantastic. And in another jug, I'll add half a cup of flour. And the baking powder can go in with the flour. And then we can slowly incorporate our liquid. So super easy batter to remember. So it's quite a wet mixture, but have no fear, it does work. I'll add a few generous spoonfuls of the kimchi into our batter. Kimchi is a fermented cabbage. I adore it. You can get it from all your supermarkets now. And it has a wonderful flavor. And for the spring onions, three spring onions that I'll just cut into rough batons of about two centimetres. And I use the dark part, white part and light part so the whole spring onion can go in into the batter. With a spoon, I'll just give that mixture a good mix. All right. This is ready to go. I've just been preheating a non-stick pan. Non-stick makes a difference for a pancake like this. And I'll add a generous amount of vegetable oil, so a couple of tablespoons. And we'll pour this batter into our pan. Scrape all that out. Now I'm just gonna spread it out so it's quite even. And while that's cooking, I'll just crack another egg into a bowl. And we'll give that a rough whisk. I don't want to over whisk that because I want to see the speckles of the yolk as I pour this onto the pancake. It's looking good. And as it starts to just set, I'll pour this egg mixture over the top. See how it'll start to ripple into our pancake. And now we can start our bacon. Now I like to use streaky bacon for this. This bacon is naturally wood smoked. So it's got a lovely earthy flavor. I'm going to add two rashes of bacon. So into a pan, whenever you're cooking bacon like this, start with a dry pan, no oil required. We'll pop the heat on and we'll just slowly bring up the heat to render out the fat so it curls up a little bit and goes extra crispy. Look at this pancake, it's looking really good. I can move it in the pan now, so we'll finish it off under the grill for a few minutes. Oh, look at this giant pancake. It's just set on the top, which is how I like it, and this bacon is looking good. Nice and crispy, perfect. Now I'm just gonna drain the bacon off. And this is definitely not the traditional way of making a Korean pancake. But I promise it works and it is really delicious. We're gonna place the bacon on one side of the pancake. And carefully, very carefully, flip the pancake. And to get it on the plate, bring the plate to the pan then, woohoo, get that onto our plate. That looks fantastic, but it's not done yet. So with a spoon, going to add some ketchup manis, which is a sweet soy sauce, and we'll drizzle that over the top, and a little chilli if you're that way inclined, just a small drizzle over the top too. Finally, I like to rain over lots of sesame seeds. very unconventional way of making a Korean pancake, but bacon, spring onions, kimchi, ooh, it's a fantastic combination. A very hearty breakfast or a light dinner.